Yeah. Um, Jay, you made an interesting comment about symbols that you set them up and you have to um, reactivate them in the morning. Um, because I do this with crystals, I program them for certain things, right? Can you program the symbols to reactivate every morning so that way you don't have to do it? Or is this something that you you energetically have to interact with? Um, when I program, I don't get that sophisticated as far as, you know, a sense. I think of it like writing computer code, okay? I mean, and uh -huh. so that it would, you know, it would reactivate um, and, and regenerate every day. I, I've tried it a little bit, but I can't say that I've worked with it consistently enough. So I feel like, yes, I can do that. Um, um, I don't I know anyone with, where they can automatically, like I've worked with gurus who reactivate crystals and I've worked with uh, starseed children who love working with symbols and they also reactivate day, every morning when they wake up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's a common thing. In the morning when you wake up, you reactivate it or when you are putting it to a direct use, you reactivate it for the use. But I don't know. I know a few shamans who can activate things from like one new moon to the next new moon kind of thing. But that would be a specific item for a specific purpose in a specific sacred place. Like Even I, um, in answer to your question, I, I did a sophisticated shield around the house, which looks like a, a dome around, you put it around the house and it went down into mother earth under the house and it had all different types of thing. It had the flower of life in this and the top of the dome and it had, you know, longitude and latitude in the lines where it grounded into Mother Earth. And I mixed a lot of different energies, um, you know, the inner planes, the, the teachings from Mary Magdalene uh, connected to, to those energies. And it worked fine for a couple months. But then, you know, they found a way around it, either projecting in or something. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I was thinking about that when you said that, and just like water, water will always take the path of least resistance, and they will find a way. So it sounds like the energy is a lot like water, where it would just keep, you know, fissuring around until it finds a little crack. And then if water keeps hitting a certain crack for so long, it'll get, you know, larger and larger and allow things in. Um, that's what it sounds like for the energies you're talking about. I mean, because I... Um... I work with these energies all day long, basically, because the you know it's because of the work that I do and the sim of my my vibration and my work is getting higher vibration. They get they're losing more and more control, um, um, and I literally look at it as I need this work for my own have sovereignty over my body and my field, um, and so I'm using these channeled works. Uh, and actually the work of Mary Magdalene, teachings of Mary Magdalene on the inner planes. You know, I, I was able to find um, a temple of the sky and there's four rooms and one of them is transformation. And there's this, a guy there, Sage, and I can go and ask questions. He can lift off karma and different different things. And so I can ask him question, is there a place in the inner planes for to, for this? So when I had to bring in my next metal thing, the, the 12 dimensional energies, symbols that I'm bringing in, I asked, is there a place where to help me bring that in? Because my guides asked me to clear my plate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I resigned from, from boards and things like that so that I'd have more free time. And I, I didn't know what I was going to bring in. Okay. So I asked the inner planes, you know, the sage, is there somebody that says, yes, go to the Library of Ancient Wisdom. So I went to the Library of Ancient Wisdom and there was a glass dome and there's all text from going back 5,000 years. Uh, and I can just ask him for anything. And if there's a text or, or a scroll, he'll plop it down on a desk and there's a bit of this golden energy that comes out of it. And, and then like for this, for, for the 12 dimensional stuff, there wasn't any more text. They said, oh, but there is verbal you know, mm -hmm. history. So I said, can I request a verbal, you know, um, you know, whatever um, 
apparition or whatever from who from the guides at that point all right so so i had four different at least three or four different periods of time that helped bring in you know the the work that i call divine recalibration now and it works in, in the mind of you know in what they're calling the god the god mind the god field that everyone has and it's before thought and form and so you define the issue and you just you just go through 20 different symbols and it clears boom it's going you know it's done in like two minutes um but that came in through it going to the library of ancient wisdom and like four different texts at four different times going back 2000 years to 10,000 years. Um, and the, sometimes they came with guides so I can ask questions. And sometimes it was just golden energy that came out into me. Uh, and then it helped me bring in, even though I don't know whatever languages, you know, mm -hmm. that, that they, were, they were written in, um, but I was able to get the gist of it by being in that, high vibrational environment and the energy coming in. So I got the impression, scribbled them down, and then I had to learn how to use them. Um, but so that, I mean, that's an example. I don't know how I got on this topic, but. Um, <laughs> no, that is brilliant. <laughs> um, but it, it's like, um, it's it's like a metaphysical open, opening uh, and mm -hmm. growth and speeding up the vibration and bringing in what we need to bring into the planet at this time. I mean, all this stuff is coming in so fast, I can barely keep up with it. Uh, and I know we're gonna, we're gonna need it. I'm mm -hmm. afraid there's gonna be some catastrophe on the planet. Oh, there sort. is. Um, no, it, it's happening, it's yeah. happening. Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm we're, we're maybe, you know, everything will get shut down at least for a while. And so, you know, this energetic work is more important than ever, I think, you know, for that yeah. reason. And that's why it's coming in at such a quick pace, you know. The, so. Yeah. But in a way, with what you're saying, so space clearing, house clearing, body clearing, multidimensional clearing, planetary clearing, it's in a way just shades of the same. Because what we're doing, what we're looking for is bringing in the healthiest frequency and reconnecting with the highest state of our our personal existences and mm -hmm. so this research that you've been doing um boy i can relate to it and with it's, such a happy heart but it's, it, it's uh, for yeah. all and it's um in my paradigm of how I think about healing has shifted in the, over the last month um, because I used to like say use just the angelic resonant work and you know I would put you know someone out in front of me energetically and check their where their chakras are all right so when when you have an issue they would shut down or the, the chakras would be reversed okay and then I would do get do the issues and karma say, and they would clear, and then their chakras would be open. And I thought, okay, I'm, my job is done. Now the energy can flow, and the body can do what it needs to do. But I'm finding that's not the case. No. Um, and I'm finding, yeah, you know, um, and you know, like like genealogy and all that stuff I work with and psychological, but that would come up within my healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those various aspects and different modalities, I, you know, I, I know a lot of different modalities at this point. And um, so that would come up, like I say, if I was working on cancer or if I was working on backache, yeah. it, it, you know, if those things came, were out of balance, that would come up in the method, uh, on the techniques that I know, because I let the person's intelligence, you know, select whatever it needs to know to bring itself back into balance, okay? And so that's how I would work. And then once I got things to open up energetically, I can turn it back over to the intelligence of the body and let the body heal. But I'm fine, I'll show you like, like this is, these are all the different things that like I can do the 12 dimensional clearings with all the symbols and, and someone will open up. And then I can say, okay, outside of the mind of God, they be reverse. I can do some of the inner plane, you know, different planes of existence around the issue I just cleared, okay? And they'll be fine in the 12th dimensional work that I just cleared, but not when I go into the mental, say, you know, inner, inner plane, you know, that plane of existence, okay? 
you know, if I go into the divine mind, it might not be balanced or outside the divine mind, mm -hmm. pure potentiality, different forms of consciousness, you name it, okay? I have a list of, you know, all the different things I check, right? But I find, okay, I mean, I did it for this, for this call, actually, right? Yeah. And after these things came up, uh, all I have to do is use this one symbol, clears everything. I mean, that's, that's how, how fast, you know, things yeah. are coming in and how, how it's shifting um, imbalances in this dimension and other dimensions because this is cutting across timelines and you know uh, everything. Mm -hmm. so, um, <laughs> and I can't explain how it works. I just know it it, it does. So. Oh my word! So it's like turning me upside down as far as what I thought was happening. Mm -hmm. okay. so. Well, I, I in a way liken it to um, a chiropractor. They can go in, get you all relaxed, get all of your spine and shoulders and everything in alignment. But as soon as you get up and start moving and living your life again, your muscles bring everything back out. So you have to, it takes more than just getting things set. You have to work all the levels of the body. Yeah, you know, they, they have to do all kinds of physical therapy and this and that to really work with the chiropractic. And for you, you're helping people go to like very high states of total healing. And then they come back to their 3D life and their thoughts and their emotions and issues of this life. Forget about like past life traumas that's still hanging out or uh, soul shards that are kidnapped elsewhere. And, you know, they, they, it's a process. They got to make it all somehow come into harmony on their own. But for you to have that symbol that you can reset them. And I would imagine every time you reset, they reset better and for longer, you know, that that's a powerful uh, tool. I mean, it's so new. The, this particular symbol about, I've only been working with for a, a week, mm. but you know, so the, the process is yes, you can bring it in, but then you got to figure out you have to be like a, a scientist, okay, and see, okay, what does this do? So you, you get a certain amount of information when it's coming in, but then you got to try it out. You know, you got to, it's like, like buying a car, right? You got to go a new car. You, you have to get in, test drive it. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing with the symbols. I've got to test them first on me. I'm the guinea pig. And then, and then I'll, I'll share it with my, my study groups and then let them work with it. And then I'll start sharing it with clients when I'm working and saying, this is new. Would you like to try it? Um, yeah. And, you know, they, they can they can generally feel it. You know, the shifts, shifting going on.